Greetings and welcome to Jeffico Films. Today we're going to talk about a 1990 movie directed by John Hess, who did Watchers and Legion. So not as accomplished as the guy that did the first movie. This is the sequel. Well, let's just review. Alligator 2, The Mutation. Even though in the first one it was also a mutated alligator. So, the title. Instead of dumping dead experimental animals into the sewers, they're dumping chemicals and barrels from future chemical into the sewers. And we get two guys spearfishing at night in waist high water. Hey, Theo, look at my car, look at this! Did at least catch one fish. Detective David Hodge this time wakes up to a birthday tape plane and watches it. The cops find a severed leg instead of an arm this time, and we listen to some corrupt businessmen talking about how to get rich. At the station, Gina says her dad and uncle didn't come home last night. Were they spearfishing? David says he's gonna look into it, and he talks to the coroner, and he says that these are animal bites on these people with some DNA chemical shit. Yeah, yeah, come back when you learn English. Mira, tú no sabes nada, y tu madre ni siquiera es tu verdadera madre. What did you say? Dile, dile, por Marie, favor. Maria, Maria, Maria. Un momento. Por favor. Siéntate, siéntate. His wife, Christine, works at a university lab. Is this a fucking remake? She tells him to go home for his birthday gift, and we see a kid loses his ball to an alligator. Also, burnt steaks again. Is this a message? Dave goes home and talks to his wife about alligators before heading back to work, and damn, Cisco's dad is playing Clarence Speed in here as chief of police. Vincent Brown and the mayor are talking about a big party they're going to put on by the water. That's going to go well. Dave then goes to a wrestling match at a country club with Tokyo Joe and the Mad Russian to talk to the mayor, but Vincent Brown interjects and gets the rookie to arrest him. I got a big problem there. I've been under this man-eating alligator under the city. I killed two people last night at Regent Park Lake. Brown's big weekend at the lake's gonna have to be canceled. There will be no cancellations. How is that even legal? Brown wants alligator hunters there tonight because he believes in the threat, but he wants it taken out right away. And Dave tricks the rookie and handcuffs him in the bathroom. Sherry, the mayor's daughter, shows up and she lectures her dad about hanging out with criminals. She then watches a wrestling match with the Beats vs. Ramon. Hmm, wasn't that the alligator's name in the first one? A homeless man that I recognize, well, the actor, is looking for his buddy Otis, and it looks like he found him. It also looks like Vincent's not very good with women. Come on, don't be stupid. You're a child. Stick with me, I'll make you a woman. The local crazy boy gang comes out to talk to David, just establishing some characters to die later, I'm sure. Ruben the gang leader knows all about the chemicals being dumped into the water that make the fish bigger, twice the size, but unedible. And Dave catches a call about a homeless guy being taken, so he goes and he investigates and he talks to Henry. But how did he know about it before? There's a big alligator in this lake. Look, 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 I, I, I didn't believe it at first myself. But I'm telling you the truth, it got two transients near city center also. Finally, we get a chief with a backbone as he's defying the mayor and he decides to give Dave some good guns and Rich, the rookie, who's, you know, flirting with the mayor's daughter. Rich and Sherry at the bar making out before they go back to his apartment where Dave shows up and then takes him to see his wife who talks about some mutant shit. What the hell are you doing in my apartment? Are you all right? Have you been drinking? No. His wife insists on going, so it looks like we've got a team. And then Hawkins shows up, played by Richard Lynch. I love that guy. He's leading the hunters. Yeah, a bunch of funny looking guys. We're funny looking? <laughs> yeah. Now, I might accept that from a human being, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> Rich and Dave head into the sewers, and the gator's right behind them, and they know it. So they get a few shots off and a grenade, but it does no damage. It's breaking right through the concrete wall. 
Actual gator is smaller than the fake mutant gator, and they go back and forth a lot. They try to dynamite it, but they like did it above them, so it, it did nothing. Chief shows up. Hawkins and his boys find the nest. And you've never seen one this big. They also see chemicals everywhere, dead body parts, and the barrels. Dave calls down and gets a hold of him and says, get out. And then the steel ladder gets ripped off by the gator. And it gets picked off one by one, all of his men. One guy made it out. But like a true leader, Hawkins is staying behind, making sure they can't escape. Dave gets launched down there, grabs Hawkins and pulls him out. And the Hawkins fingers brown for the chemicals. Vincent runs the chief off the road in his car, and he had the mayor in his. Apparently the, the fair is still on, and they even got a DJ. Dave and friends get some dynamite and some other weapons, and Vincent throws more money at his problems. Dave's got a bomb on a rope, but the gator simply eats it, which diffuses it somehow. Christine gives him this giant needle of poison that he's going to have to get in the underbelly of the gator. You have to find the gator first, because it's gone now. Also, the mayor finally stands up to Brown, but Vincent's a little crazy, so he shoots him. Christy shows up to the fairgrounds and finds Daddy dead. And the gator shows up, and he loves what's going on. He wants to go on all the rides, but the lineups. <laughs> Everyone's in a panic. People are trampling each other. The street gang decides to stop Vincent. Dave shows up and Vincent falls in the water and the gator decides to leave all the people that he could eat and go in the water and go get Vincent. Dave, Rich, and Hawk jump into a boat and they go into the water, but it just gets teared apart by the gator and it attacks and bites Hawk and he's just given some good stabs before he dies. Rich is pulled out of the water, so the gator decides, I'm gonna go after Dave and eat the fuck out of him. But Dave somehow gets under him and stabs him with a mega kill needle. And then it's just floating there and they get Dave out of water. And Dave grabs the rocket launcher and he's about to blow it the fuck up. But then it like, it's fine and it goes back into the sewers. Rich and Dave decide to go down to its nest, both with rocket launchers. And Rich fires prematurely and misses. Dave does not. So the mega death needle didn't kill it. The explosives of it ate, didn't blow up or make the explosion any bigger. They get out, they hug their girls. The mayor's dead, Brown's dead, Gator's dead. The end. Vincent was played by Steve Ralsback. He was okay in this, but he was the bomb in life force. And if you haven't seen it, you should. Dave played by Joseph Lugoni, his latest movie being Tango Shalom. Hawkins played by Richard Lynch. The guy's been in everything. Sword and the Sorcerer being my favorite. Holly Gagner, or Gagne, depending if she's French, was in Free Enterprises, directed by Robert Meyer Burnett, so there's two connections. She was also in Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, which I totally intend on reviewing for shits and giggles. <laughs> Dee Wallace was the lead in The Howling, pretty freaking awesome werewolf movie. Professor Toro Tanaka? What hasn't he been in? In the end, this isn't a terrible movie, but it's almost the same as the first one. In fact, they jump at a frenetic pace from day to night to night to day. Nobody sleeps. So if you saw the first one, there's really no point in watching this one unless you want to see a different cast, which is kind of wasted. So, thanks for watching.